not gonna lie, it feels pretty cool when you're driving in the middle of like eight lanes and you're just bumping some ludicrous. You've got cars on both sides. You're all going the same speed. Atlanta skyline in the distance and you're just driving into the city. I just did that yesterday and I feel like I'm doing something with my life. So it's exciting. Oh yeah, and I came across a barbecue. I guess that's what they call it when a car sets on fire and there's smoke and the whole highway shut down. And I saw this fire truck and this car just burning and, and inconvenienced a lot of locals days <laughs> because the entire highway got stopped and just a fire with smoke and everything. It was nuts. I am Atlanta, Georgia's newest arrival. I'm very excited to say that and it was not easy. Moving states is very hard and doing it is not easy. So if you've ever done that before, I empathize with you because it was very difficult. Just leaving friends and family was very hard, but luckily everybody here is super nice and welcoming and I couldn't be more excited. As far as like the drive down here, I started off like really sad. I took I-75 basically the whole way. I started off going through Detroit and up until I got past Detroit, I was super upset. It was very sad. Might have even thought about turning back. Not really, but a little bit. But then once I passed through Detroit, I remember screaming, I'm free. As I, uh, I went down a highway and I felt very liberated. I think that's the word. But I passed through a lot of big cities on the way here. Ohio started off really flat and rainy and then it went to Kentucky with the hills and then with Tennessee, it started to get kind of mountainy and really foggy too, but it, it was nuts. But I just kept driving for 12 hours straight, barely took any breaks. I think I stopped for gas three times. Yeah, I listened to that song, Life is a Highway, and I was just cruising along. There were mountains in Kentucky. It was an experience that I've never had before. And once I got into Kentucky, I was in new territory. Like. It was all really exciting. It was like in a video game when you're exploring the world and the map keeps getting bigger. That's how I felt in real life. <laughs> so that was exciting. And I started to get these emotions like when you get when you're traveling, it's like a different feeling and it's something I haven't felt in a long time. I think it's like pure excitement and happiness. I like I. <laughs> I can't even describe the feeling, but it's that feeling you get on vacation where you're totally out of your element, but it's exciting and... I have just felt so excited and... I've been really happy, so. I got in when it was really dark, so I just like checked in and pretty much just went to sleep. The first thing I did when I got here was go to Midtown because I've heard that's like the heart of the city. Could be wrong, I have no idea. I, I'm not, not from here, so. I got a nice coffee and I just walked around. There were a lot of people that just came from cycling classes. So I guess people do a lot of cycling exercises down in Midtown, like not in the city, but in classes in stationary bikes. Lots of expensive cars and people but then I just started driving around and just feeling out the city. I just wanted to see if I wanted to live here. Like my only goal for Saturday was decide if I could see myself living here. And guess what that answer to that is? Yes, I, I love it here. I love it here. It's really warm too. It was like 65 the whole day. Here's a tip about apartments. They don't always look as good in person as they did online kind of like people's dating profiles. <laughs> like, they look one way on apartments.com and then you drive past them in person and they are completely different. <laughs> there are imperfections they were hiding. <laughs> but I have not met a single mean person yet, crossed fingers, but like, 
everybody I've met has been so nice. Like the people at the gas stations, everywhere, just people are so nice here. And I don't know if it's because of the weather or whatever, but first grocery store I went to was H Mart and nothing was in English. And <laughs> I didn't know, I thought H Mart was like their Kmart or whatever, <laughs> or Walmart, but nope. It wasn't in English, so I just got some blueberries and I laughed. But then, at night, I went to Bucktown Village to check it out. I've heard that's where all the nightlife is. And let me tell you, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, there's tons of bars and tons of people. There were nightclubs and bars and tons of people. I just kind of checked it out and did it. I didn't do a whole lot, but I just, I just wanted to see it and I just wanted to see what it's all about and that's the place to be here if you're looking for bars or clubs or whatever. Apparently Cardi B has gone to this place called Red Martini and there are tons of other celebrities that live in Atlanta too so hopefully I'll see one someday. I mean it'd be pretty dope if I saw Cardi B or Ludacris. Not gonna lie it feels pretty cool when you're driving in the middle of like eight lanes and you're just bumping some ludicrous. You've got cars on both sides. You're all going the same speed. Atlanta skyline in the distance and you're just driving into the city. I just did that yesterday and I feel like I'm doing something with my life. So it's exciting. And I just, I can't wait to meet more people. And I am just, I'm just high on life. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I came across a barbecue. I guess that's what they call it when a car sets on fire and there's smoke and the whole highway shut down. And I saw this fire truck and this car just burning and, and inconvenienced a lot of locals days <laughs> because the entire highway got stopped and just a fire with smoke and everything. It was nuts. Oh yeah, they have acting classes for adults here, which you couldn't really find in Michigan. So that's very exciting. People have asked me like why I came here and I said for the entertainment industry and they've said, well, you came to the right place. So that was really reassuring to hear from multiple different people. There's a certain level of confidence that just comes with making big moves and proving to yourself that you can do it. And ever since I've got here, I've just felt like a different person. I just feel so confident and I feel like this is the right thing. And like, I've just felt so confident and I know this is the right move for me. And I've already, there's shows that shoot here. There's studios, there's classes, there's agencies. It's warm. I burped again, just like in the last video. Huh, go figure. <laughs> Gonna leave that in like the last video. You're welcome. But there's acting classes here, there's studios, and there are people driving Ferraris everywhere, and it makes me feel like someday maybe I'll get to drive a Ferrari. Hmm. <laughs> uh, like cut to me in the future, just with no money broke and living under an overpass. <laughs> I slept in a little bit today, then I got up and checked some email, drank my coffee, you know. That's the best way to start any morning, just with coffee, checking the email. And then I went and went for a three mile run, like I usually do, and it felt great. It really cleared my head. I've been listening, uh, I've been listening to a lot of hip hop music ever since I got here. I don't know if it's because they make hip hop music here or what but I've really been resonating with hip hop music. So if you know any good hip hop songs, leave them in the comments because I'm new to the genre. <laughs> um, if you're from Atlanta, leave a comment because I don't know a whole lot of people and maybe we'll meet someday. I've felt so productive and so energized and this is only the beginning. So please subscribe to my channel and like this video New videos coming to you every week. All right, see you next time.